where we are loving car life and I'm here today to look at this spectacular little car over here this mini and sorry yeah that's all right <laughs> uh, and this is the owner David so uh, well, David good to meet nice you nice to meet you cheers for bringing it out it's a lovely little car it was um, we spotted it at our meet and Greg got some footage of it leaving and it doesn't quite sound like a normal mini nope. And upon further investigation, it isn't a normal mini, is no, it? It's not. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to show everyone today this little car. It's very special, and we're going to have a little walk around. David's going to give us a guided tour. Yep. And uh, we'll have a chat about what's different about this to a standard Austin Mini. Oh, look at that. Diamond stitching, I like that. Taking the steering cow off and getting that recovered. Oh, yeah. That's enough. <laughs> That's all right. It was a plastic and horrible. Oh, covered it. What have you covered it in? Our material of sand. Ah, nice. And I might get some diamond stitching on that if we can. Excellent. Yeah, the seats. It's lovely diamond stitching, isn't it, on the seats? Oh, yeah. Where are the seats from? Uh, the seats are out of a Master MX5. Oh, right. Um, really? And then person in, in Graham's gate to recover them. Yeah. And he's done the whole interior and then fitted it all as well. So. Oh, that's lovely. Is it the original mini back bench? Original back seats. Yeah. Front seats are out of a Mazda MX-5. It's a standard dash yep. which has been chopped about for the R1 clocks. Yeah. Um, top and bottom rails are standard but the top's been adapted to fit the turbo timer where the, you normally have a little ashtray in the middle. Yeah. I'm obviously not going to smoke from there. So. Oh, I don't smoke anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bad for you. Yeah, no smoking in the car. <laughs> no smoking. Hey Greg, you don't oh, smoke yeah, yeah. anymore, do you? No, no. No. Yeah. It hasn't got the turbo yet. Oh right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking. one day. I was thinking turbo timer. Hang on, I, I didn't know it had a turbo. So uh, yeah, thinking for the future. Yes. Excellent. That's yeah, that's cool. Um, so the carpet as well is it's a nice looking carpet. Is that a standard, it's a standard mini, mini carpet? carpet. Right. Okay. Huddersfield Mini Spares. Yeah. Uh, just been chopped about a bit for the obviously the gear linker, gear linkage, which yes. is different. Uh, different pedal box. Um, so when you see when we get under the bonnet, we haven't got all the master cylinders and all that, so all tucked underneath the dash. Right. And a nice cage as well. What is that? A just a uh, bolt in six point cage. Okay. Is that available from like a mini parts specialist? Yeah, I got it on eBay second hand, but you can get it online. Yeah. So what's the what was this car originally? Uh, Austin Mini Thousand. Mini Thousand. That's still <coughs> original. Thousand CC in theory. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a thousand CC, but not quite an A series anymore. Well, I suppose we'll break horsepower at thousand CC. No, no. So you've had the earlier uh, yeah, rear lights put on as well. Yeah. I like I that. To go for the Mark One look. Yeah. Rear lights and the front grille. Looks good. I like it. I like it. Well, I've not seen this before. The number plate lights are built into the actual bolts that hold the number plate on, so they're little LED lights. That's really cool. I love that. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, are these mini Miglia, Miglia arches? arches yeah. Carbon fibre. Looking absolutely beautiful. I really like big flares on cars at the moment. I like yeah. They look cool. So where, where did you source those from? They look. That was an eBay purchase. Really? Yeah. A little bit is in eBay. Wow. <laughs> get a bargain. It's amazing what you can get on eBay now, isn't it? They're actually motorbike mirrors, apparently. 
Oh, right. Like the engine. Yes. Yes. There's the clue, everyone. They go with the engine. That's so, it. do you think it's about time we show people what's under the bonnet? Yeah. yeah. There's a secret um, method to doing this, so we're going to take this off camera because uh, security it needs cl security clearance. Okay. What? And we've gained some extra yeah, subscribers. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the very unique part of this car. Do you want to explain what it is? I can try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Standard R1 engine. Yeah. An R1 engine, yeah? Yes. R1. Yeah, R1. R1. It's the 450W, which is the injection model. Brilliant. How many horsepower? 164. It's a big one. Ooh! <laughs> shiny. shiny, shiny. <laughs> Full aluminium fuel tank. Yeah. Uh, it's been custom. I've got some baffles welded in, because obviously the fuel is sloshing around when I'm throwing it around corners. Yeah. Custom floor. Normally you have a big tile well and a battery box. That's been cut right out, and it's got full flat floor. It's There's even a little inside. bit of room for your shopping. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah, well, you know, don't need a lot of shopping, do you? No. Well, is this this is steel, isn't it? Yep, yeah, standard boot lid. Okay. So just been the boots, the locks all gone, and we've got custom locks in the corner. That's a nice touch. I like that. It makes it look very smooth on the back, doesn't it? Yes. That's what I wanted really hard all the time. If you want to. So, I um, have had a feature in Mini World. Like oh, right, I've, okay. I've got a feature in there where I've said thank you to Stuart and Martin for the upholstery in that. What's the name of Stuart's business? Retro Classic Restorations. Retro Classic Restorations. And where's he based? Appledore. Appledore. Just outside Appledore. Appledore in Kent. Kent's East Sussex border, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and I can recommend Stuart as well because I've known Stuart for a long while he uh, did some work on my very first Beetle spot on he really knows what he's doing so I think um, without further ado I think um, if you don't mind would you be able to take Greg out for a little run no problem We're don't scare him too much will you oh, well, it's wet so yeah it probably will do <laughs> <laughs> I'll scare myself nice you right for that Greg yeah good <laughs>
a little louder. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. David, thank you very much. Thank you. For bringing this out. It's an amazing little car. It's got dirty. So, uh, thank you for tuning in again, guys. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Hazard. You can follow us on Instagram at Hazard Retros and make sure you like and subscribe to get more content and see some more great car reviews like this one. Cheers, see you later. See ya. Yeah. <laughs>